called Save My Mind and You Don't Die Give As You Receive and Your Release is Second. This is the part 322 in the series Christ Forgiveness How to Manifest Immortality Season 2. And the name of today's teaching is The Ark of Safety. God asks for nothing and his son like him need ask for nothing, for there is no lack in him, and in this space a little gap would be a lack, and it is only there that he, that he could want for something he has not. A space where God is not, a gap between the father and the son, is not the will of either who have promised to be one. God's promise is a promise to himself, and there is no one who would be untrue to what he wills as part of what he is. The promise that there is no gap between himself and what he is cannot be false. What will can come between what must be one and in whose holiness there can be no gap? The beautiful relationship you have with all your brothers is a part of you because it is a part of God himself. Are you not sick if you deny your wholeness, if you deny yourself your wholeness and your health, the source of help, the call to healing and the call to heal? Your Savior waits for healing and the world waits with him. <clears throat> nor, <clears throat> nor are you apart from it, for healing will be one or not at all. It's one as being where the he in it's one as being where the healing is. What could correct for separation but its opposite? There is no middle ground in any aspect of salvation. You accept it wholly or accept it not. What is unseparated must be joined, and what is joined cannot be separate. Either there is a gap between you and your brother, or you are as one. There is no in-between, no other choice, and no alliance to be split between the two. A split alliance is but faithlessness to both, and merely sets you spinning round to grasp uncertainly at any straw that seems to hold some promise of relief. Yet, who can build his home upon a straw? and count on it as shelter from the wind. The body can be made a home like this because it lacks foundation in the tooth, and yet because it does, it can be seen as not your home, but merely as an aid to help you reach the home where God abides. With this as purpose is the body healed, it is not used to witness to the dream of separation and disease, nor is it idly blamed for what it did not do. It serves to help the healing of God's son, and for this purpose it cannot be sick. It will not join a purpose not your own, and you have chosen that it not be sick. All miracles are based upon this choice, and given you the instant it is made. No forms of sickness are immune, because the choice cannot be made in terms of form. The choice of sickness seems to be of form, Yet it is one as is its opposite, and you are sick or well accordingly. But never you alone. This world is but the dream that you can be alone and think without affecting those apart from you. To be alone must mean you are apart, and if you are, you cannot but be sick. This seems to prove that you must be apart, yet all it means is that um, you tried to keep a promise to be true to faithlessness. Yet faithlessness is sickness. It is like the house set upon straw. It seems to be quite solid and substantial in itself, yet its stability cannot be judged apart, cannot be judged apart from its foundation. If it rests on straw, there is no need to bar the door and lock the windows and make uh, fast the bolts. The wind will topple it and rain will come and carry it into oblivion. 
What is the sense in seeking to be safe in what was made for danger and for fear? Why burden it with feather locks and chains and heavy ankles when its weakness lies not in itself but in the frailty of the little gap of nothingness whereon it stands? What can be safe that rests upon a shadow? Would you build your home upon what will collapse beneath a feather's weight? Your home is built upon your brother's health, upon his happiness, his sinlessness, and everything his father promised him. No secret promise you have made instead has shaken the foundation of his home. The winds will blow upon it, and the rain will beat against it, but with no effects. The world will wash away, and yet this house will stand forever, for its strength lies not within itself alone. It is an ark of safety, resting on God's promise that his son is safe forever in himself. What gap can interpose itself between the safety of this shelter and its shores? From here, the body can be seen as what it is, and neither less nor more in worth than the extent to which it can be used to liberate God's son unto his home. And with this holy purpose is the... Is it made a home of holiness a little while because it says your father's will with you? Thank you.